Hi guys. Hope you remember me. My name is Sarika Chavla. I am an image consultant. We talk about fashion, fashion accessories, etiquette because I am a corporate trainer as well. But yes, in my earlier video, we talked about how do we match our tie with a shirt and the topic is covered especially for my gentlemen. And yes, in my today's video, we are coming with another part of it because last time when we talked about matching a tie with a shirt, we talked on colors that what color a tie should be with a color in the shirt but today we are talking about patterns your shirt could be a solid shirt it could be a pattern shirt but then how do you match your tie with a shirt which is either solid or patterned or if your shirt is uh, a tie is solid or patterned right so let's talk about this one after the other so stay tuned to learn more on this so step one when we are talking about a solid shirt so guys normally uh, males prefer to wear solid shirts but yes there are a lot many patterns coming these days and boys are equally friendly with the patterns also but now it is important for us to understand how do we match a solid shirt with a pattern tie or various other options so let's begin with this let's say i'm showing you a shirt which is a solid shirt right it can be any color so we talked about the colors in my previous video today we are not talking about the colors we are only talking about the patterns so since your shirt is solid see a solid shirt if you carry with a solid tie it does not bring any interest trust me it looks very plain it is something like wearing but not wearing a tie so guys we want to create that interest so that viewers when see us their attention should be there either on the shirt or on the tie but we want it on the tie because tie should look more dominant uh, one thing which i would like to tell you here whenever we talk about colors we always make sure that the lighter colors towards the skin and the bolder colors outside in tie and when we talk about patterns we talk about smaller patterns towards the skin and the bolder patterns in the tie but it can it can be reversed as well uh, i am not limiting or i am not restricting the options for you it can be reversed as well and that's why we are here today to understand that how it works so when we are talking about a solid shirt it can, with this with this kind of a shirt you can go with any tie trust me any tie other than solids because we need to add the interest to our outfit so you can go with any tie which is either an abstract pattern it can be stripes it can be polka dots it can be floral prints anything goes well with it the only basic thumb rule that you should see that whatever tie you are picking up make sure the uh, base color of your shirt or something which is uh, dominant in your shirt should be there in your tie so see the blue here is reflecting here in this tie in this tie as well so this is the thumb rule so make sure that when you're wearing a solid tie you can go for anything a, a floral and abstract a stripes not solid all right so let's come to our second option wherein when we say our shirt is not solid our shirt has a pattern on it when we talk about patterns patterns are of different uh, different it comes in different variations it could be a small scale pattern it could be a large scale pattern it could be stripes it can be anything so let's first talk about stripes when we talk about a shirt which has stripes on it you can always uh, pair it up with a tie with either the same pattern that means you have to go for a tie with a stripes on it or you can always go for other patterns could be polka dots could be floral could be could be abstract prints but then if you really want to match a shirt which is with stripes with a tie which is again with stripes make sure while mixing the patterns you are looking at the spacing the proportion of the stripes or the other patterns proportion is very important proportion is something the size or the spacing between the patterns see guys in this shirt the spacing between the stripes if you look at is very minimal these are very thin stripes so if you add some a tie with very thin stripes to it it will look very cluttered you have to make it look little dominant than your shirt so what you should be doing is you should go for stripes i'm not denying that but then your wi stripes should be little wider wider than what is there in your shirt 
shirt is with the stripes which are very uh, closely spaced but your tie is with the stripes which are widely spaced so that's how you match it and of course the color which is there in your shirt should be definitely a part of your tie right so this is about when you are matching a tie a shirt with stripes to a shirt with a tie with again stripes but if you want to go for other uh, patterns in the tie you can always go for floral polka dots or anything but then make sure that the spacing between the patterns and the size of the pattern should be different from what is there on your shirt simple okay so let's move on to the next one when i say when your shirt has smaller patterns see when you look at this shirt it has very small cubes uh, printed on it so when you are wearing a shirt like this which is close to your skin it should be actually the right approach the smaller patterns should be close to your skin and the bolder patterns should be outside so when you are making a choice here with the smaller prints then your tie should have the patterns with the bolder or the larger prints as i have mixed something with this which is like this so the size of the pattern here uh, which is paisley paisley is a very classic pattern one can always go for it right so when we talk about paisley pattern with this pattern shirt it works very well when you know the analogous you know the triad you know uh, the other color schemes so make sure that you are mixing it with the colors as well but the, in terms of patterns when your shirt is smaller patterns go for the patterns which are larger and widely spaced so the spacing should be different from what is there in the shirt and what what is there on the tie hope this is clear so next i come to the reverse of this the reverse of this says when your shirt has a larger pattern to it when your shirt has a larger pattern so you can go for something solid with this also but solid does not bring that interest as i say uh, our objective is to look amazing right so you can always add pattern to it but when we are adding a pattern with this pattern shirt then we have to see the spacing here see the size of the pattern see the spacing of the pattern so here if you look at the size and the spacing it should be different in your tie so let me show you how it should be so see this tie so hope you can see the size of this pattern is different from what the size of the pattern on the shirt is so you have to make sure that the spacing also these are very closely spaced so like in solids we all have studied science in smaller standards right we know what solids are what liquids are so the molecules are very closely spaced or widely spaced you know so same thing happens here when these are very closely spaced you have increased the spacing here so that is how you match your pattern shirt with a patterned tie if the patterns are too large on the shirt and also when the patterns are too small on the shirt so guys these were certain tips i am sure it will be very useful when you will be going for a tie selection to your shirt and trust me color scheme really helps you all have to make sure that in your ties the color of your sh shirt not all the colors but something which is very dominant there should be definitely in your tie so please make sure uh, you like my video if you really find the content useful otherwise no and then if you really like my channel subscribe to my channel i will be coming up with many more videos not just for females but also for males and we will stay connected to learn more and enjoy more all the best stay connected bye bye